Welcome to our NFL Week 1 preview. Today we're going over all the games, picks, and predictions for Week 1, as well as my predictions for the NFC and AFC playoff picture, the Super Bowl, and my MVP for 2023-2024. Before we get started, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe wherever you're listening or viewing at. Starting with the Ravens and the Texans, I have the Ravens winning this one. The Texans are in a whole rebuild over there. CJ Stroud is a guy to keep an eye on throughout the year and how he develops. But I have the Ravens week one. Lamar Jackson had a whole new contract, a whole new team around him. I like the Ravens in this one. Big. The Bengals and the Browns, I think the Bengals are the superior team. I like the Browns week one. I think they get off to a good start. Deshaun Watson, let's see if he can get back to where he was with Houston or if he's going to kind of just be a a mid-quarterback the rest of his career. We'll, We'll see. I think this year is a big step. He's got weapons around him to be successful. I like them week one against the Bengals. The Bengals... The biggest worry I have for them, and I'm really high on them. I think they're a top five Super Bowl contender. The Bengals secondary, they lost their two starting safeties that they've had the last couple of years. And I think that's really going to hurt them this year. We'll see how they kind of mend that hole there. The Vikings and the Buccaneers, another pretty self-explanatory one. I think the Buccaneers are going to be really bad this year. I think they're going to sit in somewhere in that five to 12, maybe six and 11 if they reach their ceiling. Um, they obviously have weapons offens- offensively with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Rashad White's their new back in the backfield. But Baker Mayfield has yet to prove that he can really lead a team. And uh, so that, that's I'm, that's what I'm betting on him not doing again this year. I have the Vikings week one in this one. And I think the Vikings will regress this year as, as we see it play out. The Titans and the Saints is a sneaky must-watch game, in my opinion. The Titans are very interesting. Derrick Henry, obviously a top three running back in football. They got... DeAndre Hopkins now over there as a number one wide receiver, but can Ryan Tannehill deliver them the ball and be be good on that side of the ball? Defensively, I think they're going to be solid. The Saints have a really good defense, and in my opinion, an underrated offense. If Derek Carr can really connect with Olave as he develops, and Mike, let's say Michael Thomas comes back, they got Jamal Williams this offseason, add Kamara to the group in a couple weeks. I really like the Saints this year. This is a sneaky matchup. I like the Saints winning this one, though, um, but I, it could go either way. Panthers and the Falcons, a very another very interesting matchup to me. I like the Falcons to win this one, but the Panthers easily could pull this one out. I have, I think, I had the Panthers at eight and nine this year, and the Falcons at seven and ten. I like the Falcons at home in this one. You're going to see a trend. I like a lot of home teams this week. The Jaguars and the Colts. This is one of my away winners. I have the Jaguars winning on the road. Another pretty self-explanatory one. The Colts are kind of like the Texans in a complete rebuild. New quarterback. Anthony Richardson, just like C.J. Stroud, must watch TV, going to see how he develops throughout this year. Is he going to be elite as he climbed through the draft rankings this past offseason, or is he just going to kind of be a bust? We'll, we'll find out. Um, not after the, I mean, after this year, it's going to be a couple of years till we look back and, and make our final you know, analysis on what he is. But I like the Jaguars on this one. They have a very complete offense. The defense is young but has potential, and I like them a lot, especially in that division. So I have the Jaguars on that one. The Niners and the Steelers, this is one of my two big upsets this week. I have the Steelers winning at home. I think I predicted the Steelers to be 10-7. and I like the 49ers to win the NFC West over my Hawks, but I like the Steelers week one. you got to be bold. I'm going to be a little bit bold with that one. I like the Steelers at home. The Cardinals and the Commanders. This is one of the rare weeks where you can lock in a commander's win. I don't see any way the Cardinals win this game unless Sam Howell just continues to turn the ball over. I like the commanders in this one pretty easily. Raiders and Broncos. I like the Broncos at home as much as I like the Raiders this year. I like the Broncos at home to get get a win to get their season started. They have to come out firing after what happened last year. Sean Payton obviously wants to get this team going right off the bat. I like the Broncos at home to pull that one out. Another road win for me is the Dolphins over the Chargers. I think the Dolphins' defense is just a little bit better, and I could see the Chargers winning at home easily with that elite offense firepower that they have, but the Dolphins have that same amount of firepower on the other side, if not more. So I like the Dolphins in this one. My biggest upset of the week is the Patriots over the Eagles. Now, a little spoiler, I have the Eagles going very, very far this season, but I'm going to start out with a banger. Like I said, in all of our lives this week, I've been saying this. 
We were very bold last year, and we were 60 games over 500 with our picks. Now, I also have to mention, my picks are not the same as Zach's picks. So you can go check it out on Instagram to see the difference in our picks. And I'm going to keep track of record and everything like that all year. But back to the Patriots-Eagles. I like the Patriots to win at home in this one. Again, I like the Eagles a lot uh, this year. I think they're going to go very far. But let's go with a, a sneaky upset there. I got the uh, I got the Patriots over the Eagles. Packers and Bears, I think it's going to be a very close game. I think it's within a touchdown by the end of it. I like the Bears to eke it out at home. We know what Justin Fields has has produced already and his, you know, his upside and his trend is going up. With the Packers, we have not seen Jordan Love really fully in a in a whole game, in a whole, you know, having the team to himself situation until now. And so I'm going to need to see him prove it before I start giving them some wins. Cowboys and the Giants, as much as it pains for me to say, I have the Cowboys winning on the road. I think the Giants are going to be solid this year, but the Cowboys defense is elite. And offensively, adding Brandon Cooks is such an underrated addition. Tony Pollard has the reins by himself in the backfield now. C.D. Lamb's obviously there, Dak Prescott. So I like the Cowboys in that one on Sunday night football. And I just realized I missed two games in in, in the predictions here. My Seahawks over the Rams, pretty pretty much a given there. Uh, Rams without Cooper Cup. Big, big loss there, but I like the Seahawks either way in that matchup. And I also just skipped over Thursday night because it is Thursday night. And I want to say this matchup for credibility reasons. If you guys look back and say, oh, he he picked this team after they already won or whatever. So I am actually picking the Lions to beat the Chiefs all week. I said the Chiefs, but we got news today. Travis Kelsey is officially out tonight. I like the Lions to win this one. And I think it's going to be within a touchdown. I think I predicted 31-24 is the final score. I think it's still going to be high scoring, even with Travis Kelsey out. Both defenses are have question marks, to say the least. I like the Lions Thursday night football to get a dub to start the season. Now, there's one game I haven't done yet, and that is Monday night football with the Bills and Jets. Besides, in my opinion, the Dolphins and Chargers is must-watch TV this is the other one that has to be on everybody's radar. How is Aaron Rodgers going to perform with the Jets this year? How are the Bills going to come back after kind of being a, a disappointment when it comes to the playoffs these last couple of years? I like the Jets to split with the Bills this year, and I like them to win at home, each team winning at home. So when the Bills play in Buffalo against the Jets, I like the Bills win, to win there. So tonight or on, on Monday night, I like the Jets to win um, and get that done. Another close game. I want to say high scoring, but both defenses can really get after it too. So I like the Jets in that one. We can kind of go on to um, the playoff picture I have for the NFC and AFC, as well as my Super Bowl matchup, which I've waited to the last second to make this happen um, or to kind of give it to you guys because I've, I've been torn on what I want to do, especially in the AFC. The NFC is kind of narrowing it down to a couple teams. The AFC, there's like eight teams deep. Uh, which is which is pretty remarkable. Uh, but again, with, with the game picks, before I give the playoff picture here, with the game picks, go check out Zach's picks on Instagram. He wasn't able to make this episode. I posted, posted our picks and his picks. I'm going to be keeping track of our records all year to kind of compete with each other. But as well, I'll be keeping track of it on TikTok to, to help you guys with any picks uh, further down the line. So make sure to go follow over there as well. Moving on to the NFC playoff picture. With the number one seed and the best record in the NFC this year, I have the Philadelphia Eagles with the number one seed. I think Jalen Hurts is going to take another step forward. That defense is elite. They barely lost anything on that team, especially offensively. I really like the Eagles. They added to that running back room as well, getting DeAndre Swift and Rashad Penny. That's going to that's gonna pay off, I really believe so. So I like the Eagles to get the number one seed. The number two seed it, it pains me to do this, but I think the San Francisco 49ers are going to get that number two seed. I think they're going to just eke out my Seattle Seahawks for that division uh, by one, maybe even just one game. I was going to say maybe two games, but I think it, I think it literally might just be a one game difference between those two teams. A lot closer than what people think. I like the Niners with that two seed, three seed winning the NFC North. I have the Detroit Lions who have been in one of the most trendy teams one of the sexy picks this year to go far i like them to win that division and then the last division winner i have is the new orleans saints i think they uh get that job done in 
the NFC South, and they might even be a three seed. I'm going to keep them at the four, but they might even be a three seed when it comes to record because that division is very poor. The Falcons and, and Panthers could make some noise, but the Buccaneers aren't doing anything. Most likely the Falcons and Panthers aren't going to do anything either. So I like the Saints as the four seed, but they could be even higher just because of the record. Now, when it comes to the playoffs and then playing a Lions, the 49ers, the Eagles, I don't think they they really have that great of a shot. We'll see how they develop throughout the year. When it comes to the three wild card teams, number five seed, I like my Seattle Seahawks to get there. I really hope we can, we can win the division this year. I think it's very light or very possible, I should say, not likely, but very possible. But I'll, I'll play it safe and give us that five seed wild card. Number six seed, I have the Dallas Cowboys, just slightly below the Seahawks, a little jab at Zach there. The seventh seed, I have the Minnesota Vikings uh, making the playoffs. So I think it's a, a pretty, you know, a given. Seven. I like. I don't think that's a really shock to have any of those teams in the playoffs. Now in the AFC, it gets kind of interesting, um, especially when trying to to rank these teams as well as some of the teams I'm going to leave out of the playoffs. Number one, I have the Kansas City Chiefs. I didn't give them the respect they deserved last year. I think it's part of it, part of it is because I just don't like them at all. But I am going to pay them the respect this year. Um, and give them the number one seed. Number two seed for me, a sleeper, the AFC South champions, no matter what, in my opinion, the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be that number two seed. Number three, I think the Buffalo Bills repeat and win that division. I think they are the number three seed. The number four seed, I think, is the Bengals. I think they regress a little bit. I mentioned earlier, their defense worries me uh, just a little bit. And Joe Burrow's health, I think he should be okay. But with a stacked division they have now, the Browns have improved. The Ravens are better. The Steelers are better. I don't think they're going to be as elite when it comes to record. I think they're going to fall in at that four seed. My five seed is the New York Jets. I think they're going to be amazing this year, and they could very easily win that division. I like the Bills just to win it uh, win it just a little bit over them, maybe by a game or two. Uh, I think I had the Jets 11 and 6, probably Bills a 12 and 5 situation. Jets says my number five seed. My number six is the Miami Dolphins. Now, they could make a lot of noise in the playoffs. I don't have them going to the Super Bowl, but if you want to take like a sleeper to go to the Super Bowl, pick the Miami Dolphins, man. Elite offensively, underrated defensively. I just don't know if they have enough defensively uh, to get there. And my number seven seed is a team that I'm really high on, and I've, I've been bragging about them a lot. I know their defense is sus. But their offense can be elite this year. And I like the Las Vegas Raiders to make the seventh seed. So that means no Steelers in the playoffs, no Ravens in the playoffs, um, no no Broncos in the playoffs. I'm trying to think of anybody else I missed. No Patriots. Three of the AFC East teams make it, in my opinion, with, with the Bills, Jets, and Dolphins. Uh, who, who else am I missing? No Chargers. That that's a big up or a big uh big um I don't know what word I'm looking for here. But with the Chargers not making the playoffs, kind of a big surprise, I guess you could say. Um, not having them in there. But I like these seven teams. Obviously, the, Ra- the Ravens could make it. The Chargers could make it. Uh, you could throw, like I said at the beginning, about 12 teams in this AFC picture. And it, you know, you're going to upset somebody by leaving their favorite team off. So I'm going Chiefs, Jaguars, Bills, Bengals, Jets, Dolph- Dolphins, Raiders as my seven. And the NFC Eagles, 49ers, Lions, Saints, Seahawks, Cowboys, Vikings. Now, with the Super Bowl out of the NFC, I think the Philadelphia Eagles will get there again. I have the Eagles going to the Super Bowl once again this year. And in the AFC, I don't think the Chiefs get there again. I just I just don't believe they can get there again. Jaguars, a sneaky choice, but I'm not picking them. Bills, I just don't know if they have enough defensively, and they still really haven't adjusted and, and added a whole lot to that run game. If, if James Cook comes out and, and cooks, then it's a whole different story, but I just don't think they have enough still, which is kind of a sucky situation because Josh Allen gets a lot of this blame, which, I mean, they have weapons offensively with Stephon Diggs and Gabe, Gabe Davis and Dawson Knox, but the running game is still not there. That They need to have both to be successful. My number four seed was the Bengals. I have mentioned many times during this episode, I don't think they have enough defensively as much as great as their offense is, I don't think they get there. I don't think the Raiders get there. I don't think the Dolphins get there, even though they're a sneaky choice to pick. I have the New York Jets, and I know I know I'm hopping on that kind of bandwagon of like Aaron Rodgers is there, but they got Dalvin Cook now. 
and like all the weapons they have offensively, they were a top seven defense last year, top five, maybe if I remember correctly, they are elite on both sides of the ball. Aaron Rodgers is so good. You can kind of just plop him in any organization. He's going to be successful. I like the New York jets and the Philadelphia Eagles to meet in the Super Bowl. Hmm. And I've been thinking about who I have winning this matchup, and I think I'm going to lean towards the Eagles. I don't if they get there, I don't see them losing two in a row. I like the Philadelphia Eagles to win the Super Bowl this year. And going transitioning right into my MVP pick, I have Jalen Hurts winning the MVP. So you guys have to let me know what you think on Instagram through our DMs, or if you know me personally, shoot me a text, whatever. But I have the Eagles and the Jets in the Super Bowl with the Eagles winning the Super Bowl and Jalen Hurts as my MVP. So I don't know how you guys feel about that, but that wraps it up for our week one prediction picks preview episode. Um, Obviously, we will be doing this every single week. We're going to be adding another college football one as well. We didn't do it this week, but we'll have one out next week for college football. Same, Same concept as this one. We go live on TikTok Monday through Friday. So if you guys have not followed on TikTok, Uh, Make sure to go follow over there, follow on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube. You guys have been really supporting us a lot lately, and we really appreciate every single one of you. Uh, So best of luck this week with your picks, guys, and we will see you guys uh, with a a review of week one on Monday or Tuesday, probably Tuesday, because last year we did on Mondays, and I kind of want to wait till Tuesday because we always miss the Monday night football game. And with Monday night, especially this week, being so must-watch TV, that episode will be out on Tuesday. How about that? Um, episode out on Tuesday, reviewing everything that just happened, and then we'll look forward to the uh, to week two. So best of luck, guys, and we will see you guys on Tuesday.